For years, I've had this idea that I wanted to photograph horses with Christmas tree lights in the background. Well, this year, I was able to make my vision come to pass with the help of my friend Christine and a couple of very beautiful horses that just happened to belong to me. I'm gonna pull back the curtain and show you some behind the scenes and behind the lens of how we made Christmas magic happen. Originally, I was gonna string the lights in this tree right here and put Fritzy out in this pasture behind me so that there could be no problem of her running away if she got spooked or something and it's nighttime. But oh my gosh, it's so windy and cold and I thought maybe I could make this happen in the barn. The first thing I had to think about here is I have to have enough depth so that I can get away from the Christmas lights so that they can be out of focus in the background. And then I didn't want the lights to be right up against um, anything so that they would reflect light on the background. And so what I ended up doing here was I just took a very long lead rope and I attached it here and over here and I hung the lights in a somewhat random arrangement which we'll probably mess with a little bit while we're shooting and then ran a little extension cord to the power. And then what I did was I already had my video light in here that I used for my introductions for the video blog and this is actually needing to come in indoors now for the winter so I don't freeze while I'm doing my video blog and um, so I just put it at a right angle to the lights because I kind of think I want to play with side light mostly I'll turn this on and so I'm just turning it on a low setting just one light is on honestly if you want to get into video light the setup is awesome I'll link it below it's like less than hundred dollars and it works great and in order to test without bringing the horses in or having any people here I did a stool with a bag of shaving all right so now I've got my twinkle lights plugged in I have my video light plugged in and now we're gonna turn off the lights and magic is coming there's my setup and obviously a bag of shavings is going to be more reflective than Fritzy. Um, so uh, I think it's actually going to be a really good balance of the light. And then here's my test shot. So I think that's a very, very pretty bag of shavings. Um, let's just hope that the picture with the horse looks just as good. Just to give you a feel for how challenging it is to get a good photo when working with a horse, here's a 6 minute 41 second time lapse from when I first started shooting to when I got the first image worth keeping. Oh my gosh. Maybe if we just shift her front feet over this way a little bit, then just like one whole step. So yeah, just push her shoulder, tap her, or point. Yep. That's actually good. Yep. And that way, if she's looking more straight, she's still. You're gonna be the easiest one I photograph. Every time I'm, I'm framed up for one shot, then she moves her angle. Yep. Right at the end, I decided to try something a little different and I got my handheld video light out. This is a much smaller light and it puts out less brightness and so I just thought maybe I could create a little bit of a different mood. And the light should come from slightly higher. Yep. And then I need to totally jack up my ISO. I'm just gonna see if I have a good exposure there. Ooh, that was pretty. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hope that turned out. Thank you.